for the government and even private partners, private individuals to partner with government and ensure that you know, we have access to this um, technology, to this digital space. But first of all, awareness. Let these rural women and even the urban women be enlightened on the importance. Because if you understand the importance of the thing, you will go for it. So let them understand the importance of technology. So if they have this understanding, then bring equipment. Nothing stops government from creating. Maybe we start having all these uh, telecommunication industries. It is still government that attracted them. So we can attract even people, experts that can come and you know, train these people. As the world marks the International Women's Day, government and relevant stakeholders have been encouraged to work towards breaking the cultural stereotype on women in order to actualize gender equality in the technological sector. A legal practitioner and chairperson, League of Women Voters of Nigeria, Enugu State Chapter, Barrister Nena Anazi, gave the advice while reflecting on this year's theme of the International Women's Day tagged Digit all innovation and technology for gender equality. Barrister Anose emphasized the need for a shift of mindset where women can harness the potentials in technology instead of seeing them as only mothers and home builders. I think the government has a lot to do because now we are talking about cashless economy. How many of these rural women know what you're talking about? How many of these women have um, accounts in the banks? How many of these women have Android phones? We saw what was played up during Nigeria's election. Some places they have an um, internet to upload results. How do you go about that? So it is for the government and even private partners, private individuals, to partner with government and ensure that you know we have access to this um, technology, to this digital space by creating first of all awareness. Let these rural women and even the urban women be enlightened on the importance because if you understand the importance of the thing you will go for it so let them understand the importance of technology the importance of innovation that a lot of things can no longer be done in an analog way you need to go digital so if they have this understanding then bring equipment nothing stops government from creating when did we start having all these uh, telecommunication industries it is still government that attracted them. So we can attract even people, experts that can come home, train these people on the use of this Android phone. Because a lot of women, they have Android phone, they don't know how to use it, they think it's just WhatsApp and Facebook. But when they are trained on other areas, e-commerce, other areas, fintech, how, you know, they, they will leverage on how they can leverage on technology to advance their business, advance their, their economy, advance their even agriculture. So this when, when they're enlightened and there are provisions for them, I tell you, a lot of women will be interested because as we celebrate International Women's Day, it, it is not out of place to choose this um, digital. Everybody needs to be digitally inclined. She identified cost, lack of knowledge and poor economy as factors responsible for the digital divide in Nigeria and urged government to empower more women to meet the modern day demand. They need trainers, they need mentors, they need money because phones are not cheap to come by. <laughs> for instance, if you need to go through buying of data, buying of phone, these things consume money. And in a, in a country where almost uh, uh, um, almost 90% of their citizens are living in abject poverty, how do they cope with the um, issue of technology? 
So government has a lot to do, individuals have a lot to do, NGOs, civil society organizations, they have a lot to do. And that's why even other, uh, other um, some of the organizations that belong to, in this 2023 International Women's Day, we are going to deliver women. We want them to be digitally savvy. We want them to know what is happening in the digital world. And we're going to be enlightening them on their you know, position, on the need for them to get involved in technology.